everybody. Just getting set up. See who's out there in a minute. Uh, I think my camera's backwards again on YouTube, but it's the right way on my mini cam. So hopefully Jean will show up and tell me what I'm doing wrong. Hey, Kia. Let's see, Duck coming in. Hey, Duck, Duck. Got a backwards camera again. I don't know what the heck about that. We don't know what to do about that. Hey, Gayla. Bratty Patty. That's a new name. <laughs> Hi, Susan. How's everybody tonight? I want to give people a couple minutes to pile in here. <clears throat> Get myself situated. I'm just going to do some more mad scientist experiments. So. I hate it when a plastic package outsmarts me, especially when this small. We got a couple of these Stardust Jelly Roll pens, um, and it's backwards because it's. I hope Jean comes in because I can't figure out why this is backwards for you guys now when it's finally straight for me on um, Minicam. That's so crazy. If any pigment needs alcohol to mix, use seventy or higher. Um, the only pigments that I'm aware of that need alcohol or are the fluorescent ones. And I think, I can't remember. I think she used 90, 91, but uh, well, that's when we were at Kramer. But um, hey, Kimberly. Um, it's just to get it to move and blend and then it evaporates off. So that's the only, um, that's its only purpose. Because I always thought alcohol, when I saw her putting alcohol in one, when she did that fluorescent magenta for us, and I thought, what the heck is the um, alcohol for? I've never seen anybody use alcohol. And uh, then she explained that it's, it's just some, the fluorescent pigments are harder and they, you put the medium on them and it just like pushes the medium, it repels the medium. And it kind of that it kind of breaks the surface tension somehow. Yeah, it's used as a wetting device and it evaporates. So it doesn't impact the um, it doesn't impact the pigment in any way or the watercolor. Jean's gonna miss another green. Hey Shauna. This one is a Tokyo, a pigment Tokyo, Chroma Shine GR. It's backwards for you guys. Oh, that's so frustrating. I have no idea how to do that, how to, un how to undo that. Let me see if I can flip it on my mini cam. <laughs> that's your one and only answer, Gayla. Hang on. Let me see if I can figure out, because this is frustrating, because this, this is my right hand. But it looks like my left hand on your camera and all the everything is flipped this way. I need to do this. And Manny Cam is finally straight. Let me see. Let me just for shits and giggles, hang on to your hats here. I'm going to flip you around. Now you guys are right and I'm backwards. Hey, Mets. Hey, Button. I'm going to... um. I'll leave it like that and see if I can deal with it backwards. Oh, actually, you know what? I can just get rid of this window, the Manicam window. And then we're right. My right hand's on my right side. What do you know? Yeah, it's. I flipped it around. Hey, Susan. I flipped it around, Braddy. So, um, hey, Gala. I hope you don't mind. 
but I'm going to, um, no, hang on. I'm going to add you as a moderator, just in case we get a crazy come in that we got a boot that I miss until Jean or Xander or whoever else gets here that's a mod for me. Hope you don't mind me doing it before I asked. <laughs> I think you're, you'll be a good one to, good Gestapo. All right, so I'm just going to mix up some of this. And then I have two more, two of these pigments, this one and the duochrome blue-green that I want to mix up. And then, hey, Janet. Uh, then I'm going to um, mix up some creamer pigments like the transparent magnesium violet and mix a little bit of these in with it to try to get a weird play of color going there. That's my plan anyway. At some point, I got to stop playing with this stuff and get back to painting something. But it's just so much fun. Let me see if I can bring in a little bit closer. Oh, the phone. Oh, yeah. On the right-hand side of the chat, next to everybody's name, Gala, there's three little dots. Click on that, and you can kick them to the curb. Janet, do you mind if I mod you? I just did it to, to Gayla. I didn't even ask her first. <laughs> She's used to dealing with me that way. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Let me get my camera, my mini cam up here. And let's get you zoomed in a little bit. You can see this a little bit better. This is really pretty. Jean's missing it. She would love this one. Like making pasta. Hey, Debbie. Hi, Linda. Oh, I don't have my mask on. I knew I was too comfortable. <laughs> okay, now it's going to sound like I'm being kidnapped, but assume that I'm not, unless you see my hands get yanked off the screen. <laughs> Gala, don't go out. Don't go booting Janet out. <laughs> the power has gone to her head. You can beat Boot Cece out when she shows up. <laughs> this is your favorite, Susan? It's really beautiful. A little bit more medium. Uh, no, it's all in yen, Debbie. I just went to a currency site and, and uh, put in the conversion to see how much it was going to be in dollars. Everything's in yen on the site. I couldn't believe it. I had my pigments in like four days from Tokyo. Yeah. Yeah, that's all you have to do. Did you get your um, creamer pigments, Debbie? I know. I remember you said something about the end of the month. We're gonna order some of your uh, some of creamer pigments. All right, get rid of the mask now that it's all moistened and not sloughing up in the air. <laughs> Don't tell her that. <laughs> It's a slippery slope we're walking on with all these metallic pigments. I, I love them, though. I like some people don't like any metallic watercolors. I like all metallic watercolors. All 
All right, let's see what this, what this looks like. I got a piece of black bond paper, Eileen. You were waiting for me. Oh no, I wonder if that's where everybody is. Crap. Can one of you guys pop over there and tell them we're over here? See, I know enough to be dangerous. I keep telling you people that, but nobody believes me. Maybe they'll you believe me. Oh, geez. Thank you. I was wondering where everybody was that said they were going to be here. See what I did? I scheduled I scheduled it. Um, and then went and opened a different window because I didn't. my camera didn't seem to be set up right on the other one. And what do you know? I hosed everybody up. They're probably thinking, where the hell is she? She's 11 minutes late. You got two notifications. Oh, Lord. I got to figure this stuff out. <laughs> Great. Now the power's gone to Gala's head. No, this is my right hand. I flipped it over. But on my mini cam, it's flipped this way. Here it's right. Right? Right hand, left hand. My computer's right over here on this hand, where it usually is to my left. CB! Sorry about ditching you guys on the other channel. Jesus. Oh, that's going to a pretty turquoise and a gold. Ha, 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 ha. Hang on, let me get a piece of white that we can play with. Hey, Willina. This just one little load of the brush. It just keeps going. My brush is dry, but it wants to keep on going. Hey, Joan. Sorry I ditched you guys on the other channel. <laughs> I got to go back and fix that other one I pre-set up for the stencil sale. Oh, let me tell everybody while I'm thinking about it. There's some new... Hey, Josie. There's um, some new names to me here. And I want to make sure you guys know. Um, iStencils.com. If, if you're into using stencils. iStencils is having a sale. Uh, the 13th to the 16th of September. Uh, Sherry's going to be giving me um, um, a coupon code. Hopefully Dave will grab that soon. That's from my mom. My mom's calling. Um, so we're going to get a coupon code. Joan Smithies that you see on here is one of my mods. She is the eye stencils latest designer added to the team. And she's going to be launching a new line of stencils. And I'm going to be demoing, demoing them here on this channel with a coupon code. That's, I don't know if it's going to be 20 or 25% off your entire purchase. A free exclusive if you buy X amount of product. And if you're in the U.S., free shipping. I think it's over 50. You get free shipping. Um, so stay tuned. When I can release that code, I will. But it won't be for two weeks on the 13th uh, of September. And it's good for four days. And um, I'll do some jelly plates. Patty, your right hand is still on your left to us. This is my right hand. Everybody said they were seeing it straight. This is my right hand. It's not on your right. It's on the right from what I see. Her brush is in her left hand to me. I don't have a brush in my hand. <laughs> Hi, Ella. Hi, Eva. Hi, Eva. Crap, it's backwards again. And I'm looking at, oh, hell's bells. Let me see. Let me try something again. Hold on to your lunch. I'm going to flip you around. Okay, that's my right hand. Where are you seeing it? You thought you were high. I always think you're high. Hang on. Let me try it a different way. 
That's my right. What are you guys seeing? That's my right hand. I'm seeing it on my left now. Way to go. Are you guys seeing it right? This is so crazy. Now I got to look at my mini cam because now it's wrong on the browser I'm looking at. Holy mother of pearl. I'm telling you. Um, anyway, I stencil. So stand by for that code in a couple weeks, less than two weeks, actually. And I'll be demoing all the Joan stencils. So you'll find Joan stencil designs under my Patty Tolly Parish heading. Hey, Vicki. Uh, Mercedes, hi. Um, you can find Joan stencils are going to be under my heading. So they're a little bit easier to find because she's kind of like in my circle of followers. So, um, hey, Marion. Uh, we thought it would be easier to put it there instead of mix them in with the other 3,800 designs that are on the site. So, um, <laughs> Eileen, you screwball. Um, yeah, so that's it. So let's get going with this one. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this as usual, but this is the Chroma Shine Green. Chroma Shine GR. And this goes from a green to a brass to a turquoise. And you're probably never going to get to see the turquoise because usually when this happens, you only get to see one or two of the colors. It doesn't, if there's a third one in there, you'll probably never see it. Sometimes when I get it vertical against this light, you can see it from the side. And sometimes you can see it blue there, but it's really turquoise. And a gold and then like a brass, I mean a green and then a brassy color to it. So you can kind of see the turquoise ish. And here it is on white. How sparkly. Oh, Joan, I think your pigments arrived here, but, um, and Dave was here yesterday. Dave was here and we found a sticker on the door. First attempt failed that nobody, it, I guess they knocked. They said they knocked and nobody heard them. So um, we tried to get over there to get them today. And I had stuff to pack up for Joan and CC and Sandra and Eve and Otto, and my friend Jim, Napa Jim, you guys, some of you guys know him, like 10 boxes of stuff, lamp working tools that he bought that I'm sending him. We work so long packing all that stuff. Oh, and Gene Cinch. We work, work so long packing that stuff up the post office closed on us. Now we got to wait till at least Tuesday. This is the holiday. So anyway, it'll be Tuesday before I can go up there and get them and before I can ship to any anything else. Yeah, right, Gala. You know, Joan had to sneak a couple in there. She's no fool. So this is, let's see, pig, toke, chroma, gr. This one's really pretty. It's got a blue shade to it. So I'm just mixing up to, I'm going to put these in full pans because I know at some point I'll, I'll mix more. Is she all right? Yeah. She's going to say about John. Oh, okay. Is he okay? I guess. She didn't say? Yep. She said she talked to Tom. Tom and Laurie. Okay. Thank you. Are you yeah. Fun? Yeah. Say hi to the ladies. Uh, it's upstairs. No, I just took it upstairs. Dave's here for all those. I said, no, Dave, if you want to yell out and say hi. You know you can't hear him, right? <laughs> that was a funny. Hysterical. <laughs> How's Oakley's dad? See, now they're all saying hi, Dave. Hi. Oh, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, I didn't know you hear me. Yes, of course they can. How's everybody doing up there at TV land? <laughs> TV land. C 
CB said she strained her voice and you still didn't hear her. Okay, let's see. One more that I haven't done yet. Mixing up these pigments I got right. into watercolor paints. All right, babe, thanks. I'm gonna. Okay, this one. I'm beginning to feel like I work at the car dealership like a regular work day. <laughs> okay, this one's duochrome blue-green. You notice a pattern in the pigments I bought. Did I get this one? RPK. Didn't I do this one the other day? Oh, you know what? This is the one. I didn't mix a pan of this. I mixed I mixed it with other stuff. So I'm going to make a pan of that. I want to make sure I have a pan of all these new ones. God forbid. I didn't have a pan. Oh, and I, this is still wet. I didn't wipe off that. Little schmutz from the baby wipe. I'm having, I have a feeling that this is going to look something like the PBO duo tone, duo colors. Is Bailey sick here, uh, CB? I hope not. Yes, but I forget to put it on. It's right here. Thank you, Jean. <laughs> oh, good. Did they give her any water under her skin and like a um, um, fluids under her skin on her back where she comes out looking like a camel? Babe had that done when she was a puppy. And um, she came out of the emergency room and she had a small size hump on her back. And she was only like three months old, maybe four months. Hey, CC, Welcome. I wonder who else is over on the other channel waiting, maybe. Eileen, did you say you went back over there to check? My dumbass. Scheduled it on one. I didn't realize it would come up differently like that, I guess. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Anybody that thinks otherwise doesn't know me well. So I'm not using a muller on these because they're pearlescent and metallics. We learned at Creamer that the shape of the pigment molecules is different. If they have any kind of mica in it, they're flat. Gala, that moderator thing really went to your head. <laughs> I asked Gala, would you be a moderator? Well, I didn't even ask her. I just made her a moderator and said, hey, Gala, I made you a moderator because I don't see any of mine online. Then I signed up Janet, but I did ask Janet first. I like to throw Gail under the bus when I can and, you know. But anyway, they said to not use a muller to use a palette knife like I'm doing um, when you do the metallics. And they... Um, pearlescence. So that's what I'm doing. All right, let's see what this bad boy looks like. This is the duochrome BG, which I'm guessing means blue-green. Yep, I can already see it in there. This is a muller got a frosted glass on the bottom 
so it can kind of smash up stuff pretty good. This one's too big. This, But at first I got a small one because I thought I'm just going to do batches for myself. This is the small one. And that's the large one. I guess I should have gone for a happy medium. No pun intended. That's really pretty. Even wet, you can still see two colors. I don't know if you can or not. But it's like you see them both at once. Like you don't have to, it's not a shift where you see one or the other, depending on the angle. Come on. Work with me, camera. Well, we'll focus one of these days. Let's get it on the black. Yeah, it's. I have a big hand, too, and it's still kind of heavy for me to use. See you, Debbie. Thanks for popping in. Kayla, you are one sick puppy. Bless your heart. Let's see if you can see it better on the black. They're so shiny that it's hard. It, it's difficult for the camera to really. Show you what I'm seeing. Oops, I bumped the camera. At one angle, like right here to my eye, they're both the same color because they both have that turquoise in it. And then this turns brass and a really cool blue-green. It's pretty wild. Dreaming cat. Oh, man. I wonder if I should go over there and try to kill that one. Sorry about that. Eileen or, or um, uh, Xander or somebody, would you mind every once in a while popping over there a couple times and see if there's anybody we left behind? Good Lord. What a numbskull. I'm calling myself a numbskull. Sorry about that. That's the first time I set up uh, one scheduled in advance. And, well, you know, hosed it up. What can I tell you? This is pig toke. Hey, Carrie Ann. Oh, thank you. Well, let's, will it stay there? I guess it will if nobody else is talking. Yeah, that just tell them Patty screwed up. That's the only thing you can do. Uh, what is this? Duo. Chrome. D. G. All right. I bet this one might be a good one. To mix in with a little bit of um, this manganese violet from Kramer. I'm going to try mixing some of these once I get a pan of all of them made. Okay, three, six. Now I'm still missing one. Oh, it's this purple one. Okay. All right. And then we'll have some fun. Well, I don't know if everybody considers this fun, but <laughs> it's so pitiful that I do. Patty, they look like they shrink a lot, do they, in the pan? Not really, Z. Um, here's a couple that I filled the other day. And they dried. They're still pretty full. Um, let's see. Some of these, not all of these were a full pan that are sitting back here. So some of them didn't really shrink that much. They were just not full in the first place. So I got one more of this one here. Oh. <sighs> 
And then once I get that done, we'll play a little bit. And I'm going to, at some point, not tonight, I'm going to start getting a record of my, um, in that black Canson drawing paper book I just got, I'm going to start um, doing my swatches in there on black with these. Um, this, I don't know if you guys, it's got looking more blue. It looks royal purple to me. And you can see a little bit of a pink in there. I'm on in focus. Is it because it's white behind there? You're just not going to do it. Oh, there we go. Well, for a split second, it focused. Um, yeah, it's even if it's e it's even purpler. <laughs> purpler. All right, let me get my mask back on. Right, oh, here it is. Hey, Tam. All right. Oh, this one goes metallic like right away. It's really beautiful in person. And the swatch on the Pigment Tokyo site for this one went from a coppery orange to a hot pink to a royal purple. Um, it reminded me, the combination reminded me of Raku pottery, which I have a little collection of. And I love the colors that come up in Raku. And uh, that's what caught me eye. They will look different on different monitors unless the monitor has been calibrated. Yeah, I know. Drives me crazy because you guys can never really see what I'm looking at. But you guys, some of you guys have seen it in person from the art weekend and uh, coming to the house and stuff. So, you know, I'm not fibbing about them. Um, I'm sorry, I missed something here, Dreamcat. Hey, folks, what are these called? Um, so this is from the site called Pigment Tokyo. Um, and this particular one is a Chroma Shine pigment. They have all different sort of special effects pigments. And this one is called Chroma Shine RPK. And they sell them in these little 15 gram bags. Hey, Kim. And um, they're not cheap, I can tell you that. But they, for what they do, you know, that's just a more expensive pigment. I mean, true watercolor artists would have nothing to do with this stuff, I'm sure. But I am not one of those artists that are true you know, stick to the old school watercolor rules and guidelines and all that. Um, I like abstracts. I like flashy, glittery. I like mixed media stuff. So I kind of use it in my mixed media. I don't use it as so much as water traditional watercolor. It's a nuisance to different sellers, giving them different names. Well, um, I don't know enough about them. Uh, you mean the special effects ones? I've seen similar names to Kramer on these, but then when I get them in person, they are different in that all of the ones I've gotten from Tokyo, in the bag, they have a color to them. A lot of the ones with similar names from Kramer are white. And they're like a... Uh, what is that called? Um, oh. Hey, Jean, there she is. 
uh, I can't interference color kind of thing. You put it on white and you can barely see it. When it dries, you see a little bit of shimmer, but you put it on black and it's spectacular. But these are spectacular on black and white paper. So I don't know. I don't understand enough to know about the pigments to really know what's happening there. Oops, trying to clean that up and I'm making a bigger mess. All right, that's good enough for a swatch. Let's see what we got here. All right. The world leader. Gee. Oh, I knew I was tipping my toe into the deep end when, when I modded Gail up. <laughs> but she's enjoying it. Look at her. She's having a time of her life. <laughs> okay, let's see what Debbie's going to do. That is like neon blue violet, real, but a pinky blue, cool blue. Wow. All right, so you can see the pink in there, right? And I think when this dries, you can see that cop, well, I can see a copper. Maybe you can't. We'll let that dry a little bit. It's really pretty. Hey, Jean, were you over on the other? Um... Wait a minute. Hang on. Are you guys backwards again? Oh, no, you're not. You're okay. The window I'm looking at is backwards. The mini cam is right. Oh, Jesus. Oh, mama. Okay, let's see what this bad boy looks like on white. Oh, were you? I I pre-scheduled this stream, but then I apparently opened a new channel when I came on live with this instead of going back in. And a lot of people were over there waiting for me, and I was never there. Uh, again, enough to be dangerous. Um, need more full pants. Hang on. So I was just wondering if you were over there with everybody else, <laughs> wondering where the hell I was. Okay, this is pig, toke, chroma, RPK, RPK. What the hell that means, I don't know. This one all panned up. Hey, Tony. All right, there's that one in the pan. See, it's so blue on the camera. You see a little of that pinkish showing in there. So that's all nine. Let's see, is this dry yet? Not quite. This is dry. Oh, there you go. See that flash of that pink there? And you look at it a different way, and it's real bluey purple. And in, in person, it's screaming royal purple i mean she's a screaming but i'm not picking up 
I didn't hit it just right to see the copper, the coppery orange bit in there. I saw it the other day when I did it. It's very elusive, but it's it's gorgeous. That's that's a brilliant color. So now I'm going to let those set up there. I got another empty tin to start putting that. Tokyo pigment and and let's see here what I want to do is I'm going to mix up get these babies out of harm's way a little bit um uh oh where are the ones I'm oh there they are okay uh oh a cc caving Don't fight it. It's bigger than you, Cece. <laughs> okay, now I want to take some of this. I've been, I love turquoise, as everybody probably knows it's here. There were some new ones that came in. You might not know that. I'm a turquoise freak and purple. So now there's the two that I bought, up, two of the ones that I bought in New York. But this one's very opaque. And the combinations I've made have been a little lackluster from what I expected them to be. So now I'm going to mix, I believe this is transparent. Do you guys remember that from New York? Um, the pigments are expensive from the Tokyo. I always want to call it Toyota. From the Pigment Tokyo uh, store, they they are expensive, and the shipping is not cheap to get them here. There's a range; some are cheaper, and of course, all the ones I got are the special effects, which I'm sure are not the cheap ones. I think this purple magnesium, what the hell is it called? Magnesium violet. I believe it's transparent. If it's not, I'm going to get that hostaperm pink. I know that's transparent. It says it right on the label. Let's try this. And I'm going to pull this off to the sides and mix it with different things to see what I get. I'm going to have to order more. Where's my mask? I'm going to have to order more. Um... Well, it may have been on the label, but this one came in a bag and I wanted it in a jar instead of the bag is it's wafting all over the place in the bag so i bought the jars and put it just put the pigment number and the name on there i didn't write all the information on it so it, it may have been on there can't swear to it though oh good for you vicky it's not on the bags i'm sure it's on the site Oh, this damn mask is fogging up my glasses now to figure out if I can hold my breath long enough so I can. Not breathe when my mask is over my face. Now this I'm going to mull a bit because it's not a. Metallic pigment. Put another little drop or two in there. <laughs> Julie in New Zealand. Hey there. Um, Julie, I believe you were the one that wanted my rose gold. Um, my friend Zandra is here. I don't know if Zandra, I don't know if you've seen a, an order for New Zealand yet. But if you are that Julie, which I think you are. Um, hey, Judy. Uh, Zandra, one of my mods, Scraps to Beauty by Zandra, she has an online store and she's making and selling the rose gold uh, of my recipe. So, um, Z, put your link up there. Um, and she's got a lot of other stuff in her store. 
Oh no, she's gonna want the Tokyo. Oh, oh, are you gonna sell those? E? They're gonna have to mark those way up for these prices and the shipping for them to get here. I thought so, Julie. Oh, good. Okay, I didn't know if you saw my note. I think I posted you a message out on one of your comments. Um, good. Oh, good. She will hook you up. This is really nice, smooth. Thing. I'm just going to use my little mauler. My little teeny tiny guy. Since this is so already kind of luscious. I need to get a non-skid thing underneath of here. That's got a good suction on it. I probably wouldn't be able to lift my big one. This is real, um, feels like honey. I mean, I know there's honey in the medium, but I mean, the pigment, it's so different uh, how some of the pigments feel under the knife and under the muller um, than other ones. All right, sit there, my little beauty. Okay, all right. I hear Dave upstairs yelling for Oakley or at him, one or the other. <laughs> little rascal. He must be playing with him. I hear him saying, give me the ball. Good luck with that. Okay. Now I'm going to take... Hey, Sharon. Welcome again. Huh, yes, um, Kat, there's... Um, this is the Kramer Medium. And it's already pre-mixed. It's got gum arabic, Ooh. honey, and glycerin already in the mix. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to take a little teeny tiny bit of this. And I'm going to put it over here. And I'm going to put a little teeny tiny bit of this. Well, I'm going to leave that there. Because if this comes out really good, I'm just going to do that to the whole thing. So now, which one of these little beauties, pray tell, do I want to mix in with this? Let's see, this needs a mini camera up on her phone. You can have Cece on your show as a guest. I have to figure out how to do that. That would be fun to have you guys rotate through and do stuff together. So, not this one. That's too purple and purple. Either that one. Green. Which one's GR20? It's like BR549. Is this 20? I'd turn them around to see my labels. No, that's duo color. Where the hell is that one? Oh, <gasps> shit. I just put my finger in it. Dang on it. Gala, you could be a guest for sure. I have to get you a webcam set up. That would be a hoot nanny right there. Um, or the chroma shine. I think I'm going to do a little bit of this. Oh, Jean, we did a couple greens. That one there on the end goes to a and a brass, but a really pretty bright apple green when you hit it right, which it doesn't seem to want to do. Well, you'll just have to try. Oh, you can see a little bit better on the white, maybe. Hey, 
Hey, Denise. <laughs> Let's try a little teeny tiny bit of this in there. And see what happens. I'm going to put like a half of that little scoop in there. Tony, I'm not sure why I'm watching your streams. All you do is tease us. <laughs> oh. That's what the boys in high school said. <laughs> kidding. Kidding, kidding. Oh, mask. Thanks, Kathy. <laughs> That's kind of accurate. I've been called worse. I am, Denise. Thank you. Let's try to be serious, people. I don't like any laughing or cutting up on my channel. All serious here. Can't even say that with a straight face myself. Now, I think in this case, the metallic is taking over the purple, or is it? Hang on, I can't really tell what's happening here. This might be scrum diddly umptious here. I need to scrape this from another. <clears throat> That's right, it's an investment. It's an investment, Can I like that attitude. Meet you in the poorhouse. Or no, that's where I'm headed. But I'll be spent a big smile on my face. All right, let's see what happens with this. That's an interesting dark teal color, but it wants to separate. Let me see if I can show you that. See how it's still separating there? Which might make for a really cool effect. All right. Let's do it on white. <laughs> oh, look at you. Look at you. All right. Let's see what that does. We'll let it dry a little bit. And we'll come back to that. Let's do it on black. Patty's just Chelsea. Inherit all your art stuff. Um, anything that she wants, she'll get. But what she doesn't want... I have, I've already told Dave, don't get rid of all this shit down here. Get a hold of Donna and Xandra since they live close and have them get over here and figure it out if I snuff it. <laughs> this is worth a fortune. Don't be just getting rid of it. <laughs> Good question, Jean. She's asking very specific questions, isn't she? All 
All right, so let's let this sit for a minute. This one's starting to dry. There you go. That's pretty scrumptious. But they almost separate. See how the, like, on my brush strokes back and forth, you can see that trail through there? I like that one better on the white. Because I don't, I think with the, tr so here's the thing. I think with the, the violet being transparent, you're not going to see that so much on the black. There's a hint of something else in this, but mostly what you're seeing here is that uh, chroma shine green. And when you turn it, see there, see the, you can see the purplish through there. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> She's going to fight dirty. That's not a shock to me. So do I want more of this? I'm going to let this sit here. It's really wet. So that'll sit there for a while before it starts to get thick on me. You can see how it's moving on the, on the uh, glass. So remember what I did. <laughs> Somebody be responsible for this. I'm going to put this one down here. So I remember that's what I put in with that purple. And then, let's see. What am I going to put in with this other purple? A little bit. I wonder what that would look like in it. I might just, that might just lose it. Or this green. Duo shown. You know what? I'm going to do, I'm going to try this one. It's similar but it would still give me that, um, ah, ah, I'm going to put it over here. <laughs> like, where the hell am I doing? This is duochrome blue-green. Oakley, I'll tell you all kind of stories. Try that. Okay, I'll put this one over here to remind me that's what's in that. And I need some medium. A little couple drops of that good stuff. My mask. And we're going in. Hey, Sarah. Oh, Lord. Somebody's got to have a better memory than me, Sarah. It's pretty pitiful. I always tell Dave, thank God you got any clue left. We would be ski rude. Now this one looks like it really mixed in well. And it looks like one color. That's so interesting. When this one here, completely separating now. You too, Jean, no memory? Oh, God. I hear you. Okay, let's, where's my brush? Hi, Lucy. They they really are. They're they're beautiful. There's no doubt about that.
That's way more purple. And you can barely, let's see how what it looks like when it's dry to give it a fair test. Let me flip these over. Look how big these swatches are. Because the pigment, I hate, I hate to waste it. Hey, Nancy. I hate to waste it. Um, and it just keeps going and going. All right, let's see what we got here on the black. My brush wasn't very wet that time. I didn't re-wet my brush. This is like purple. Like I can't hardly see anything else in there other than a darker shadow. But I don't see any of the shine. Well, I guess a little bit. But not like this. Isn't that interesting? And it's not very, it's not great on black. I mean, it's not really doing anything. It's not really working for me. These are stunning. Good Lord, I wish you guys could really see what they're doing. That purple one really flashes that hot pink though. But I'm not seeing the copper come up this time like it did before. That orangey bit. Yeah, this one, this is a dud. That's a dud. Yeah, that's not, uh, that's not wowing me. I'm more wowed by this one. Oh, no. Are you freaking kidding me? We stopped and we went to PetSmart on the way home tonight to get Oakley more toys because he chews through them like crazy. Um, these are indestructible toys made of foes. As you can see, not so indestructible for little Mr. Oakley. That little shit. I took Look that at all one. of his... I took that one away from him. Yeah. That one, he's only had for 15 minutes. If he had it that There's one. There's the 15-minute damage. Indestructible? I think not. You you kept the receipt, right? She said, Bring "Yeah, it back yeah." They told us at PetSmart because he he ate, he chewed up his Kong bed, his indestructible Kong bed. And they said, "Oh, you could bring it back." Well, they've just put it in the trash yesterday, and now, uh, but they told us to take them back, so they will be going back because that's ridiculous. How about the bone? Is he chewing on the rubber bone? No, he will now. He's going to burn through two of these. God darn it! Oh, oh shit! Oh no! They went right in my. Right. Well, I'll write for you, not I'll write for my pigments. Holy shit. I got stuff flying everywhere. Oh my god. That little turd. Artistic breeze. Hello. Can you see Oakley? Oh, my God. I'd have to completely clean off my desk. He's almost 70 pounds now. When he was a baby, I put him up here, but that lasted about a week. <laughs> he, likes, he likes anything, Mitts, that he can chew on, but he will mangle it. And last time he had a rawhide, which has been a little while ago because I don't give them to him anymore. He got a piece the size of my hand almost stuck in his throat. And I saw a corner of it. And, um, hey, Penny. <laughs> You're my neighbor, Penny. Come and get him. And, uh, anyway, he's a little turd. I'll show you a picture, um, Breeze, in case you don't 
I don't know if you follow me on social media or not, but um, I'll show you a picture of the little knucklehead. Oh, here's Mr. Innocent, him and Babe. Babe's our 10-year-old Oakley's. See how big he is? She's 100 pounds, and he's taller than her and about 70 pounds now. That light's shining on it. Well, I would give him a two-by-four, Nancy, if I wouldn't have to take him to the hospital after that for splinters in his belly. And he's not spoiled at all. <laughs> oh, bless his heart. Yeah, he's a little... If you follow me on Instagram, on Instagram, I'm P Lynn T. I know. Almost got this bottle. Um, I'm P. Lynn T. Like Patty. My middle name was Lynn. I I took to Tolly was my maiden name. So it's P. Lynn T. On Instagram. <laughs> Thanks, Breeze. He's, he's, he's really a handsome dog. But ornery. Ornery. So I'm going to do something to try to save this little bit. This I'm going to put over here and make more of that. Actually, I think I'm going to move. Wait a minute. Let me do this. Too many things moving. He's still a puppy. Yep. He's going to be a puppy for another year and a half. Bless my heart. I'm going to put this over here. Because this purple is getting kind of dry. And we'll move, mix this in a little bit here. I'm going to add more of the, where's my distilled water? A couple little spritzes of distilled water in there to get this stuff going again. There we go. And now let me get a little teeny tiny bit more of this in there. He's a puppy. Yep. I can, I love him to death, but I can honestly tell you, um, I will not do another puppy. Oh, lordy. Murder. He's a lot better now. But for the first few months, oh, geez, Louise. Setting the alarm every hour and a half or two at night. Having to carry him up the stairs when he was too small to go down the stairs. We got about 10 steps off the deck to get into the yard with bad knees. Sweet mama. Um, I put water in here because I didn't want it. I didn't want to get it too gummy with the medium and the water will evaporate and get it. See how runny it is now. The water is going to evaporate. I just wanted to activate all this dry stuff hanging around on the edges of that. I'm going to put this in a half pan. So what is this? What is this? Um, pig toke. And that is Chroma Shine. Chroma TGR. And uh, Magnesium Violet Kramer. Okay. Oh my God. I can't tell you when he was smaller before we really had him housebroken where you could trust him more than 15 minutes. Um, how many times up and down, up and down when I'm trying to sit and take a break in my recliner. He was so active. We couldn't keep him in one area unless he was in the crate, which I didn't want to do to him all the time. And, um, 
Oh my God. Every two minutes up and down trying to grab him. What's he into now? Electric cords and holy mama I'm telling you that boy wear me out. So let's do something crazy in here. Let's put, um, what do I have out here? <clears throat> Nineteen year old. Oh, you have a cat. Nineteen year old. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Not yet, Jean. All right. There's that cleaned off. Get my baby wipe. Twenty-seven and twenty-six. Wow. I'm easily entertained, Penny. <laughs> so I'm oh, this is what I'm gonna use. This one just came in. Flitter Pearl Silver. Um from uh Kramer. This is one of the ones that was back ordered. I'm gonna put a little bit of that in there. See what happens. It's gotta do something. I'm going to load that one up. All right. My mask. Is that the watercolor? Is that the watercolor things with a stone? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean, Breeze, by that. Shipping's ridiculous. This glittery stuff really sucks up the medium. I think that's why, CC on that one you said you had trouble with from New York, it probably does need more medium. Oh, good, Jean. I actually ordered one of them. And it's weird. I was thinking about doing my own set of those. And I have a um, kind of a template that I have put together. Um, it's different. But, I mean, of course, it's the same information, basically. But I don't know if I'll do that or not. Um, oh, and Jean, I found a box. I don't know what came in it, but it was absolutely perfect. It fit the cinch and all the extra uh, wires that I had. What is that when you're mixing? This is the um, Flitter Pearl Silver from Kramer. It's the one that's more a little bit more of a glittery kind of a silver instead of that white snowy powder. Hey, Jan. Um, I'm going to do something to get some color in this, though. And what's that going to be? What is that going to be? I don't want it just silver. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to put some primary elements in it. Let's go full blown mad scientist. And you can see how much thicker, maybe, that pigment is. Then some are like powder. I wouldn't call that sand, but it's, you can see more of the individual pigment than you can with the other more powdery stuff. So this is primary elements, Guatemalan green. I'm going to throw a little hump of that in there. Now remember what I got in there in case I need to duplicate this if I go crazy on it. I hope my mask. Now we might be talking. 
So I got silver, flitter pearl silver, the violet, manganese violet, a little bit of this duochrome that really didn't do jack on it, and now the Guatemalan green uh, primary elements. All right, going to need a new piece of paper. Me and Alabama football. Can't go wrong with that, Jam. Oh. All right. New piece of paper. Let's see what I got here. Where's my brush? Oh, there's Joan. I was just going to say, did Joan fall asleep? Wake up, Joan! I think now we're talking. Let's see what that is. These mixes really, they really are pretty. Let's see what this is. I mean, the pigments are pretty. Sometimes the mixes, not so much. But um, most of them are pretty nice. All right. Let's see what's going on over here. Joan, did you order from Tokyo yet? Don't fib. Don't fib. I can tell when you're fibbing. So this is going to have to dry a little bit more, but that's going to be pretty nice. Now you can't really see the purple in there, though. What is it with this camera in purple? As you can see the silver. Hello, come on. There we go. Around the edges, you can see that green a little bit. So, you know, I, I think it's the magnesium being transparent. It's still, like I can see like the rest of the stuff that's in there. All the glitter, the flitter pearl, creamer, a little bit of purple. And but you, you know what you don't really see? It kind of overpowered the Guatemalan green. Try to get that on the curve so you can see. You can see a little bit of purple. But on the black, and usually that Guatemalan green goes pow on the black, but it's a little snuffed out by the mixture. Although this on white is pretty pretty. Okay, let me get a half a pan. Oh, Lord, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> uh, let's see. So I got manganese violet duo chrome blue green primary elements guat green and creamer Litter pearl. Okay. Never will we be able to repeat those proportions, but that's okay. I wanted 
do something with this. Um, uh, that one of those chroma shines, the CPK, I think it is. That's the one that kind of reminds me of the desert gold that we used in New York. And uh, um, Okay, let me get this mess cleaned up. This granule is a good thing. I must have missed something. Oh, when it granulates. Yeah, it just gives, it's it's a matter of opinion. Um if you like that look, some people just like the smooth look of the watercolor when it dries. And um, some people like that almost looking like a crater of the moon kind of surface when it splits and separates. Let's try. I'm going to try one more transparent here. What time is it? 822. Yeah, it's kind of a personal preference if you like them or not. I hear some people say they hate granulating colors. And I personally love them. But that's just me and we know how I am. I'm not too bright sometimes. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this. You can see this one change in the bag. See that brassiness in there and the pinkiness in there? I'm going to put that with, where the hell is it? Here we go. This Hostaperm Pink Transparent Bright Magenta. Let's see what happens with this. Yeah, Ultramarina is a big granulating one. And a lot of that, um, Daniel Smith, um, Primatech colors that are made from the natural stones, and the lunar colors, like lunar blue, lunar black, lunar violet, um, they um, tend to granulate. You know what? I'm going to take a little bit of that out. Oh, hell. Hey, I thought I was going to be fancy there. This is a really strong pigment. Um, and this is a Kramer pigment. And this is what I'm using. It's called Hostaperm Pink. There's the number for Kramer. A transparent bright magenta. It's a really, really strong pigment. So let's put a little spritz of medium in there. If this comes out how I had. Ha! I know! <laughs> Too late now, Jean. <laughs> She's going cray cray. Er. Such a power trip. Oh, my mask. Oh. <laughs> Swatching is fun. It's addicting, really. Now, see, this would be one that could use a couple drops of alcohol because that pigment is re is kind of resisting that medium. I don't know if you guys can tell that, but I'm going to put a little bit more in there. And I have alcohol somewhere. Alcohol. How am I going to get you on there from here without making a big old, big old mess? There we go. Can I get it scooped up in here? 
See how that just the alcohol runs through there, made a clear spot on there? And the alcohol will just um, evaporate when that's done. That must be leaking a little bit. It got all down the side. Okay, now let's see what this does. What color is this? This is Hostaperm Pink. Um, this is what we use this in New York and put like tiny little amount of this in the silver and bronze uh, or silver and gold when trying to make a rose gold. Now this is that really broke that up. So that's interesting. I've never mixed this one yet here. But yeah, alcohol really helped that blend in. It was just kind of resisting the medium. So weird. Yeah, Barney, I'll get you a badge and one bullet to put in your pocket. <laughs> oh, Lord, girl. Kathy, what are we going to do? Any suggestions on how to reel her in? <laughs> Maybe too late. All right, now I'm going to take a little bit of this. Just a little bit of that. And I'm going to take this Chroma Shine CPK. Why would that pigment resist the medium? I think, Julie, it's just got to do with what it's, what it's made out of. Um, some pigments like the fluorescence resist the medium and that's what we saw them demo in New York and that's what they um, um, I'm just going to put a little bit in there for now um, but I could it really worked with this I didn't I never mixed this one before so I wasn't sure if it was going to do it or not but hey Sherry So let's see what we're going to have here. Might need a drop of medium in there. Well, that was two. <laughs> All right, Shauna, get a grip. Get a hold of yourself. But I, I hear you. I know. I'm sitting here thinking, oh, man, I think this is going to be good. I don't know. We'll see. Sometimes these solid pigments like that just really take away that special effect of the special effect pigments. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Oh mercy. Are you gonna be are you gonna be really good? Need a little more water. It's either going to be really good or nothing. Right now, I see nothing. Let's try it over here. And see, we're probably going to lose the pink on the black because it's transparent. 
This is the very tricky part. I don't quite understand. Well, it's pretty hot pink. All right, let's let this sit for a minute and see what happens. It needs more of that light golly stuff. Huh? Add a little gold to the mix. I just probably might do that, CB. Now that you've planted that seed. As of right this minute, I see none of that chroma shine in this color. See, in my head. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, translation. I got it now. The color is beautiful now that I can see some of the chroma shine coming up on the black. can see down the bottom you're getting that gold bronzy color in there there you go takes it a minute to decide to want to focus That's so strange on white. I got nothing but pink. But let's get a little gold in there, shall we? The glitter gold or what kind of gold? I've got magic sun gold. Let's try magic sun gold. Is that the one you use, CC, that you had? Um... It's overwhelming it. All right, that's a, that's for sure. Yeah, Magic Sun Gold. Okay, so this one CC used, it needed a little bit more um, pigment in there. Well, I hate to... Oh, there was quite a little bit on there. Where the hell am I? I see another baby white. Yeah, okay, the Sun Gold's in your whale's tail. Okay. Okay, Jay. Oh, hey, Sherry. I'm getting a little spoon. I don't know where I got this. Little, oh, I know where I got it. I was at, um, what's that really cool kitchen store called? Um, Laws. What is it? Uh, oh, ho, ho, ho. All right. This might be the one. Oh, man. Put the cap on this bad boy. Gene, I think that answer is both. <laughs> All right. Mask on. Mask off. I think one can never have enough gold in their lives. All right. Let's see what this bad boy is going to do. Winner or not? Maybe a teeny tiny bit of water. Let that one dry out. All right. 
right. Yeah, I think that gold's going to show in this one. Oh, yeah. This could be a winner. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Are they easy to re-wet when dry? Does anyone know if they give the same kind of pigment? If they give the same kind of pigment when wet to dry. Um, the cream or medium, everything that I've made with that re-wets really nicely. I'll show you one of the ones that's sitting over here. That's been sitting here for several days in a second. Still needs more gold. Could be. Hang on. Let me, let me let this dry and see what's happening here. That's pretty yummy. Pretty yummy. Let's see how white what it's doing. <laughs> I knew CC would like that one. This one's still not dry. And you can see the gold starting to come up in there. Yep, come back. What the hell? Why is my, it's like I'm stuttering here. Am I starting to, my connection going south? My shaky hands don't help. Yeah, that's pretty stunning on the black. Ay, ay, ay. Very interesting. Well, give me another half pan. <laughs> I don't know where the hell I'm going to do with all these pans I'm making. Where am I going to put all these pans? Oh, hell, I didn't write on here what it was. Uh, Rats. Patty, check out my pan storage idea. Oh, is the um, Vicky, as I assume it's on your YouTube channel, is that, um, can you send me a link to that video or is it named that? Yeah, the, the yeah, Chroma, uh, Chroma Shine CPK and the pink. Yep. I'm seeing a little bit more of this now that it's drying in the gold I mean, in the pink there. That's coming up a little bit more in the white. Good connection here, actually. No buffering. I felt like I was a little jerky there in my own, looking in the mini cam window. Um, Julie, you can go to anybody in chat. And on the on the right side of the chat window, next to their name, you'll see three little dots. Right click on those three dots or click on them. I forget if it's a right click or a regular click. And it'll show you their channel where you can go to their channel. But yes, um, Musical Scrapper, that's Jean. She has hers. Xandra has a channel, Scraps to Beauty. Um, Vicki Ross is in here. She has hers. Cece, of course, Creation CC. She's got a channel. Um, but it'll take you to their link and then you can subscribe from there. Um Okay, this is getting dry out around the edges here. So I'm going to hit that with a little distilled. And so Sherry does. I forget who all is in the chat right now, but that's how you can find out. Hit that with a little distilled water. Now, what else do I want to do with some of this? Let's see. I wonder if the Royal Damask would come up in this. That's similar. Huh. Let's see. What else do I have here? 
that tan. You know what? Let's try a little bit of this with some tan opal. That's the one that was close to my rose gold. Oh, you're welcome, Julie. And um, Pandora's box, uh, is Dot still here? I think on her blog, she had a list of everybody's, um, that's kind of like in our group that's been following each other for a number of years. Um, on her blog, I think she had all the channels listed and when they usually stream live. Now, that was when we were on Ustream, so I don't know if that holds true yet for... Um, Everybody being on YouTube, I'm not sure. Cece's an old flame. <laughs> Use just a little magenta so it doesn't take over. Yeah, I know. No kidding. This one is. I love this one. Tan opal. I'm going to put some medium on that. And I'm actually going to leave just what's on here on there. Hang on. Studio storage. Okay, I'll have to look at that. Lord knows I need help with the half pan situation. And the full pans, but. That sucked up that medium right there. This was really a close, a close pigment to my rose gold that I mix, but it has a duochrome property that mine doesn't have. All right, let me see. How can I do this without swapping up my... I'm going to grab a little bit more of this. I have so many that are kind of a rose gold now. Anyway, I want to make it a little bit stronger on the pink side. That looks pretty scrumptious there. Uh, you can't post a link, Vicky. One of the mods has to post it. You can type it in like Vicky Ross space D O T space C O M. Sometimes that'll work. I tried that the other day though, and I got pinged. <laughs> CC, this one right here might put you off the off the deep end. Let's give this a try, shall we? I think that's going to be a good one. Hang on, CC.
this paper is so chintzy it's bond paper and it i'm trying to hold it so i can get you in frame while i'm doing this and it's buckling while i'm doing it and it soaks the water out of my brush because it's that cheap bond paper so it gets a little funky all right let's let you sit here Oh my. <laughs> oh no. Focus, focus, focus. Every time I say that, I have to laugh because I had a, my boss a couple years ago, he was, work with us. I worked for him for about two years when he was there. Uh, and um, he was, and he, we'd, we'd be at a meeting or something, he'd tell everybody to focus. But with his accent, he would say, all right, fuck us, fuck us. <laughs> and we just do nothing but laugh at him. But every time I say focus, I think fuck us. That's pretty uh, yeah, malicious. This is a rosier version, a, a lot pinker than my rose gold that I make. Um, and it's, but it's so shiny, you can't really see the pink and the brassiness that I see. Maybe this way. You can kind of see that. Just trust me, that's pretty good. So we got to figure out how do I proportion this to match this and make a full pan. That was Gemtone Tan Opal, not the CPK. So I don't know if this is more of an opaque pigment. I don't know. Um. This is pretty yum delicious. Let's try that and see where we get. I get them looking about the same, then I'll blend them together. Julie, I wonder what the shipping would be to New Zealand from Tokyo. You're kind of on the right side of the globe. See, see, I told Zandra that when I hit the lottery, not if I hit the lottery, we're all going to Tokyo or Pigment Tokyo and I'm buying the I'm buying the whole place. <laughs> How's that for a lofty dream? Notice I said when, not if. Girl can dream. Hey, did Gail fall asleep or is she out there uh, feeding her pigeon, Kathy? That's a lot pinker, but let me see how this looks. And if this is good, I might just mix those two together. Yeah, that dried down pretty spectacular. Um, just put the pigeon to bed. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of making fun of your pigeon. You I would make fun of, but not the, not the innocent pigeon. Let's see what happens with this one.
that may, may need a lot more of that pigment. Patty, you are on YouTube, Patty. You better clarify who you yeah. <laughs> I have a list. And when I buy it, free shipping to everybody. Yes, you see, that's B paper. The white is B. This is on the back of it, though, so I don't know if the, how much difference that makes. But that's going to need a lot more of that tan opal. And I don't know if I want to sacrifice that much of it. Oh. I don't know. That's pretty nice. Maybe I will. There's always more where that came from. A city pigeon. Now... All right, I'm going to go one more scoop of this, and that's all of this I'm going to sacrifice. <laughs> it's just too yummy. Oh, there she goes. Closing the lid. How much does that translate into dollars, Julie? I don't know what your dollar is to our dollar because it, it was nowhere near that much. Yes, Cece. Oh, hell, I wasn't looking and I squirted a whole bunch of medium out there. Oh, I hear a whole lot of clunking around up there. I think Mr. Oakley might be taking a little fit that he likes to do a couple times a day, running around like a metal case, like some sort of hell gets into him. He just goes mental. 277 U.S. That's getting closer, actually. This is still pinker. Oh, I wonder what would happen if I put some gold in here. That, that's not too much pinker than this, but that's still, I don't know that's going to do anything on the white. Oh, then that's that's more. If um, Patty to buy what you bought, okay. No, that's higher. That's higher, uh, considerably higher than what it cost me, even including shipping. I can't remember the exact amount that it was. It's starting to come up a little bit. But this one is still better. Oh, yeah, I can see that in there. I go to um, Owanda. It's the one I use for work. O-A-N-D-A. from 
And that's, um, yeah, that one's a lot better. I'm going to have to sacrifice more of that pigment. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. That's more, that's going to be together more than a pan. So I'm going to take this. And I'm going to add more to that. Add more, add more. I had now, are you, uh, uh, who was doing that, Julie? Are you counting? There you go. Go to the source. Um, did you count? Oh, and you know what? I had those nine pigments, but then I had one uh, of the small packages of the turquoise foil that I got as well. And that was in my totals too. Man, it's really hard to get it back down there. I have no idea. I'm going to look at Vicki's video on how she organizes her pans. I have no idea. I think I might use that tin actually that you gave me, um, Gala, for some of these. I'm losing track of which one's which one here now. Wow, this one here, what I have that I have the gold in, that's really pretty now. Where is it? Her? This paper, you still see the brush strokes on it, but I don't think it's not like that on the B paper. A sheep face. A sheep face. Oh, I see it. The whole thing out here, here's his nose, mouth, neck, and the back of his head. Let's see what that looks like. Well, that's starting to piss me off because that's still, that's still not light enough. I looked at the screen at the right time. Pretty pink. Hey, Carrie Ann. Huh. Well, I got to go another scoop. Dang it. Thanks, Joan.
So let this be a lesson. Stick to the teeny, teeny, tiny bit of hostoperm. Hey, Kathy. All right, now I got to get another piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see where we are. They're kind of all running together. Black. A moderator theme song. You're just working that little brain of yours sitting out there, aren't you, Gala? Uh, let's see. All these are pretty. It's just I want that I want that duochrome to be able to show. I think I'm getting it there. Getting close. Where's Eileen probably passed out with all this pink? Haven't seen her for a while. All right, that's getting there. That's getting there. That's getting there. Now I want to see this compared to that one. This one's still better. <laughs> All right. A little bit, Kathy. It does. At some point, you need to be using some of these on your U. I know, Jean. I was just thinking about that the other day. Like, how many of these am I going to mix before I actually get to use them. All right, is Gala threatening people again? See, do you have a bit of sun gold in there or would you consider it? I did not yet, but yes, I would consider it. That's always a consideration. They're getting pretty close now. I think I ought to add a little sun gold in there. Oh, maybe I'll add it to this darker one. Holy crap, what do we have going on here? <laughs> um, let's add it to this dark one. <laughs> that just is so crazy how that looks white 
but as soon as it hits anything, see that gold in the lid? As soon as it hits any moisture, it goes kaboom. Again, soaking up the medium with that silk, a gold. All right, let's see what that looks like. Uh-oh, I think Joan's breaking bad on Gala there. Yeah, that electric chair comment. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think that's going to look pretty good. But see how that sun gold... I know, right, Kathy? <laughs> um, that sun gold um, really ate up the, the medium. Did you see that? It just like really sucked it up. Oh, my. Uh-oh. I know, right, Shauna? It's going to have a stroke on me. All right, let's see what's happening over here. It's still wet, but that's the sun gold. And this darker one up here. And it's funny, you don't see on the black on none of these, do you see that strong pink uh, of the magenta? Because it's transparent, I guess that's why. I mean, that you can see more of the glittery bit of the gold in there than you can here, right? See it more heavily speckled with that sun gold, and here it doesn't have sun gold. But on the paper, they're not too far apart on black. On black. And it's pretty yummy on white. I'm going to tell you. All right. So what are we doing? I think I might... Um, I think I might just combine these two and keep that one separate. So here we go. They were looking really similar. Where's my other spatula? Oh, that one's still dirty. Dirty, dirty spatula. All right. Because you do need interference colors that show up on white. Yes, I do. Um, all right. What is this one? Holy mackerel. This one is 
costoperm. And tan opal. All right. That's going to make a couple of those. All right. Oh my. Oh crap, I forgot to write on this one. Why'd you let me do that? Uh, they do a little bit, um, Kathy, but not a whole lot. I'll show you one that I did the other day that was that's dried for a couple of days. Oh my. I'm going to stick that one with that. Oh no, I did write on there. Well, matter of few people. Let me talk myself out of that. <laughs> so I filled these up the other day and they're pretty much dry and they didn't really shrink down much little bit but not 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 a whole lot so now this little beauty do i have two halves there i think so oh i didn't write on it oh, i caught that one just in time so this is Hasta Perm Tan Opal and Magic Gold, right? Might as well do this one too. Hasta. Firm, tan opal and magic sun gold. Okay. All right. This might not be two half pans. All right. Good night, nurse. I'm running out of room. Oh, yeah, Xandra was doing a, her take on one of CC. Did you guys see CC's ladies that she's done recently? They're really cool. Um, you can see them on Instagram. And um, I don't know if you guys are on her Patreon page or not. If not, you should be. Just saying. hope this isn't a staining pink. We're going to a friend's pool tomorrow. The water's going to end up being pink. <laughs> mm -hmm. Get 
that one away from there. Oh, I didn't mark that. What was that? I don't remember what that was. Oh, joy. Okay. I wonder what... Hang on. Let me think of what other... I'm tapping. That means I'm thinking. Oh, what have I, oh, I haven't used this yet. Or that. The glitter gold and the furnace black. I wonder... Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. I have these two that are um, vertigree and this fallow blue. I think fallow is, they're transparent, I think. This vertigree coarse bluish green powder contains copper. Let's try, let's try something. Lunar gold. Uh, no, I don't have lunar. Is there a lunar gold? I think I should have that if it is. I have a couple, I have a couple of golds. I have Leonis gold. Uh, well, sunshine gold. Magic Sun Gold. That's the only gold I have. Uh, I have some. Oh no, I have a glitter gold. I have this glitter gold, like the flitter pearl silver. I have that in the. Oops, where am I? In the gold. I saw that, Shauna. <laughs> um, I have that furnace black, but I'm thinking, I'm just thinking out loud here. Let's do something with this fallow, which looks very strong. Uh, hang on. Let's mix up a little bit of this. Let's just do a little bit at first. Um. <laughs> oh, that one looks like it might be resisting too. Might have to bust out the alcohol. Get my mask on. This is acting really strange too. I guess I'm so used to act to um, using the um, metallics and the pearlescence that these act really different. Actually, I'm going to put a drop or two of alcohol in there. That may be the ticket. Wipe this off on here. Oops. Out of there. Now look how that pushes that out of the way. That's just a few drops. Interesting. Patty, this is a blue you need to mull for a while. Well, this one, remember I got the wrong one? See? But I, I do agree that I'm going to mull this. But, um, 
Remember, I thought I had the right fallow blue, but it's the, the number she gave you was different than mine. Mine is fallow blue primary blue. And the number you sent me was a different, a different fallow blue that I used for that uh, combination of stuff that I mixed up in New York. Hang on, let me get this off of here. All right. Another little drop of that. And where's my little teeny tiny molar? I'm not going to get the big one gooped up for just this little bit. Still got some on the outskirts here that still isn't wet. Now, what am I going to? Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to put one of the chroma greens in here. that there's still some dry pigment oh my goodness as Oakley would say I should have some nice music in the background. Oh, now it just hit, it just hit a spot where it just all feels like silk now. And is moving really smoothly. See how it's kind of like an even color now? Where it all started to incorporate. Pretty interesting. Okay, cool. Groovy. the hell are you talking about, Kayla? <laughs> I'm thinking a citizen's arrest may be in order. Citizen's arrest, citizen's arrest. Wow, that didn't really make a hole and it got down to it there. Okay, let's Try this one, a chroma shine green. Is that the one I want? Chroma shine GR20, chroma green, a chroma. Yeah, let's try it. What the hell? Maybe she has some kind of bird flu or something now. <laughs> Associating with the pigeon. Okay. 
All right, this could go really cool or really bad. With the boogie woogie fever and the pigeon flu. Okay, let's give it another little spritz. Let's see what happens. Where's my mask? This is kind of fluffy. I can see it getting a little more on the teal side as that mixes in, which is right up Mama's alley. Oh, my glasses are fogged up. <laughs> Gilbert and Sullivan, you apologize. Right. You're loving it. <laughs> All right, let's see. This is either going to be... A stunner or not so much. Okay, let's see what we got here, peeps. It looks pretty laying here, I can tell you that much. Uh oh. Uh oh. Z, I think this looks very mermaidy. Let's see what it does on black. Patty, these two colors next to each other. I know, right? I know. I noticed that too. Oh, my. I'm anxious to see what this does on black because of the um, transparent blue that's in there. All right, let's see what happens. What's happening? What's happening over here? I think it needs some sun gold. It's it's in there. Oh, it's still probably too wet for you guys to see the see a little bit down there. What was thinner? It doesn't show up as green as it does in person. And as this dries, you're seeing less and less of the blue. So you see where it was a puddle up at the top? More blue still. But as it dries, you lose it. So that's interesting. It looks like when you mix any of these with a different color, uh, black is no longer the paper that it really pops on. It's the pink. What did CC say? Oh, <laughs> Yeah, as this dries, more of the green is becoming more apparent. There you go. You see a little bit more. But I'm thinking a little magic sun gold would not hurt it. That's what I'm thinking. Night dot. Yeah, it is late for you. Try a little splash of that. This may be more of that like mermaid tail kind of deal. 
Z like I made up in New York. Get my mask on. Like that. CB, I haven't sweet dreams. I haven't seen it, heard a lot about and heard a lot from CB. I think you guys are falling asleep on me. Of course, when I'm in mad scientist mode, I don't chat as much, I've noticed. Which some of you are probably grateful for. <laughs> you just wait till I get finished. All right, let's see what kind of yummy we got here now. Yeah, here you can see it more and more coming up. But on the black, we're losing the blue and we're just seeing the green and gold in there. All right, I'm going to try to get this one on here next to this one. So we can see the difference with the sun gold in there. That sun gold is pretty yum. It starts out a lot more green. That definitely shows up. Hang on, let's try it over here. Let's turn this bad boy upside down. It's so funny how the blue really comes out at first. And then it sort of bleeds into the background. I can definitely see more of the sun gold in there, though. Of course, this is like head to foot here with the dark ends of that. Oh, well, can't really can't fix that now. It's a lot more green in there now. Yum. Janet. Oh, cool. I'm glad. Thanks. I'm glad you uh, glad you caught us live. Welcome. I'm doing some mad scientist experiments here tonight with some pigments. Xander, look at that one. Huh. Interesting. Oh, I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. Hang on. Let me let me refer to my pigment drawer. Oh, I'm going to add a little bit of diamond turquoise in there still. Never to be duplicated again. I'll have to go back and watch. This is magic turquoise. I want to get a little more blue shimmer back in there. You guys probably can't see that when it splashes on there. How many gets wet it turns from that white to brilliant turquoise. Patty, I think my name should be in a deeper shade of blue than the other. <laughs> oh. I'll see what I can do about that. I'm going to write to YouTube. See if we can get on that right away, Gala.
Now this will either be really cool or I've crossed over to the oops one step too far side, which you've seen me do before. <laughs> Oh, I don't have the heart to kill her fun, Jean. She's having so much fun. She's rather entertaining. All right, let's see where we went with this one. So that's where it was before I did what I did. <laughs> Let me flip this one over. Rose silver would look like. You mean that hostaperm pink with silver? Oh, no. Oh, oh. Ah. let's let that cook a minute. Now see that what I was thinking was that rose silver would look blue. Eh? Blue and silver. I'm getting confused um, with putting that magic turquoise in there that's reflective. That'll show more on the black of the turquoise, I think. I think, I think. To wait till this one dries a little bit. Patty, I think you should swatch on black watercolor paper. I know, but man, I hate to waste that stuff on a swatch. I'll sacrifice one piece <laughs> just for you. Oh, Jesus. I sat too long. Just for you, CC. This is a larger piece. And I don't know if this is Kathy gave me or one that I bought. I don't remember. They're all kind of running together. So here's where that's coming up. Oops. Watch me drop it right in there. Come on, baby. Work with mama. Oh, hell. There's more green in that in person than you guys are seeing there. Let's see what we got here. See, they all kind of look alike because you lose all that turquoise in the black. Let's try this. Black watercolor paper. All right, let's let that sit for a minute. It's funny. It looks like I can see the blue more right away. But I'm not see. Well, I can see a little bit of the green, actually. Come on, focus. 
Come on. Work with me. Oh, look at that. Oh, ho, ho. hello, lover. Gene, get out of my head. Yeah, these three, since they've dried, they all look alike. All these pinky ones, which they're pretty, but they they all kind of look alike. All right, let's see. Let me get this one tanned up. I have no idea what the hell's in this one at this point. Is that more than a half? I'm going to put that in a full tan because I think it's too much for a half. What are we going to call this? Holy crap. This is... Um, fallow blue. What else is in there? Chroma green. Sun gold. And magic turquoise. Lordy. Okay, here we go. This one, I gotta get it to dance around in there and spread out. Um, I don't know if you can see the the beauty mess in there, the green and the the gold and the turquoisey bits and the. Well, that's not bad. All right, let's see. What time is it? Nine forty-four. Okay, so I think I'm going to wrap up. So I'm off of here at 10. That'll be my three-hour contribution to the art world. <laughs> oh, mercy. I'm going to shut that off a little bit better. I'm going to swatch some of these other ones um, that I've dried. Yep. Bye, Sharon. Thanks for stopping in. Thank you. You don't think there's much on this plate. But there's little pigments. Look. Little rascals. Now watch this. See if any comes off. On the little moisture droplets left on there. Yep. Let's see if I can clean this off. I'm going to have to take these to the sink and wash them off. As well as myself. Oh, shit. No. I have to put a quarter in the jar for saying shit. Oh, now 50 cents. Wow. Apparently, this is a staining color. <laughs> I believe I had that trouble last week. Like, I still see blue in there. Where am I seeing it? You're going to have to go to the sink, my friend. All right. Um, I'm going to take the black watercolor paper and swatch the other ones. Um, I 
Look how pretty my water jugs are. <laughs> okay. Um, let me get some of these pigments out of my face here. Get out of my face. Oh my. Oh, great. <laughs> Just had my nails done. Patty, your brush will have a lot of blue. Use another brush. Good tip. Oh no. <laughs> Please tell me that's not going to stain them like that. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Let me find another. Where are all my other? Oh, they're in my. Hang on. Still packed up from July. Please don't tell me I'm responsible for her. <laughs> I can't take it. Damn, that's going to piss me off if that stains my fingers. Oh, well, what are we going to do? at this point. Okay, on my black paper. So now you can kind of see the whole medley of all the colors. Maybe. Are you going to focus for me? See that? There we go. See the green and the gold and the turquoise and the blue. So that's that one here. So these are the ones that I did the other day. The six in the back are dry. What is this? This is the Chroma Shine GD. The brush isn't wet enough. Let me pull you down pretty close for this because it's really cool to watch these. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but how these pigments kind of dance in the water when you put them on the paper. Well, I call it, uh, it was originally a French ombre where it went pink to white and an ombre blend, but now I have blue tips. Yeah, I'll try, I'll try my scrubber down here too. So this one is the duochrome green yellow. Jean, I thought about you when I bought this one thinking it was going to be like the green yellow um, PBO. It kind of sort of is. So, Jean, were you here when, earlier when I said I found the perfect size box for the cinch? So I got it packed up. All the um, all the coils fit in there. Um, and perfectly. And I printed out your address. I'm going to take it to the post office like that and find out how much it is and let you know before I ship it. This is just a tan opal by itself. I'll hold these up closer to you. Um, and this is the Chroma 
CPK, I believe. Yeah. This is the one that kind of reminds me of that desert gold pigment that they're out of now. From Creamer that we had up in New York. A little pinker and it flips to um, a brassy gold from this pink. Oh, okay. All right, Gene. Well, now since it's Labor Day, I can't get to the post office till next week, but I will eventually get there. It's going to be hard for me to get there Tuesday because my boss is just back from two weeks in Asia. Went to India, Singapore, and Shanghai. Just flew like 20 hours to get home yesterday, and we had a really bad storm here last night, and BWI went, um, they lost power, and they got stuck on the tarmac when they arrived. I don't know how long. I know at least an hour. Crap. And this one is the Chroma TGR. This is probably one of my favorites. One of my favorites right here. Can you guess why? Yeah, Eileen's been kind of quiet. Eileen, look out. There's a pink flamingo sneaking up behind you. That ought to get her. This is this is gorgeous right there. And that is the Chroma Shine TGR. Teal green, maybe. This is a Chroma Shine GR, which I guess just means green. Gene, you'll love that one. These aren't coming up as pretty on camera as they are in person. I'll show you in a minute. These are still wet that I did tonight. Duochrome blue-green. Which does look different from this one over here. And this is the Chroma RPK, that purple one. That's showing up on my, on my screen as a very blue purple. It's a very hot pink purple in person. All right, let me get a couple of these other ones. This is the, um, this was the Hostaperm with the magic gold. And this is the Hostaperm with the, tan opal oops that was a little thick because it's starting to dry i wasn't able to pick it up as clean as the others all right what else did i do tonight can I mix something with this? Oh, yeah, this is chroma green. What the hell is that? The magenta 
no, not magenta. The manganese violet of creamer. The chroma TGR is what this is. It's surprising. Some of these that you really think you know how they're going to come out, not so much. And it's just learning, playing with these and learning with the... Yeah, that's these two here, um, Joan. And this one, what is this? This is my mystery one. I don't know what this was. Maybe this is the one you're talking about. I know that's got sun gold on it. I can see it in there already. What's this one? Duochrome, blue green, and Guatemalan green. Let's try this. This is the duochrome blue green, which is this one, plus the Guatemalan green, which is the primary element. That shows up bluer than I would expect it to. And this is just the Guatemalan green. Um, somebody was asking the other day if you can use these primary elements to make watercolors, and that's what the twinks are. Twinkling H2Os that Leslie makes. But here it is with just mixed with just the cream or medium. See how it re-wets so easily? What the hell is this? This is another one. This is the manganese violet creamer with uh, reflex purple. No, the duo purple green in the primary element. Are you talking about how light absorbs with different uh, densities of things? You know, when, when we used to, when we would scuba dive, um, you know, the spectrum of, of light, you lose all the warm colors. And eventually, every color but blue, the deeper you go. And when we go and wreck, you know, and during a day dive, when we go dive down to a shipwreck, when you get to a certain depth, you lose the full spectrum. And we you use the term everything is blued out because it was like just shades of blue and gray. Um, yeah, we'd say it was blued out because the deeper you got, the spectrum was. But if you were down there and you turned on a flashlight, that that light, the fake light from the flashlight brought that spectrum back. So we'd be like if you dry, dive down in the tropics where you have all the pretty coral and the pretty tropical fish and you're down to a certain depth, you can't see any of that. You can see it shallow. When you're shallow, you can still see the full spectrum. But when you get past a certain depth, everything is blued out. But you put a flashlight on it and you, you see all these beautiful colors of coral and tropical fish. It's pretty interesting, actually. Pretty interesting. Okay, so here we go. These are much better on watercolor paper. Got to tell you. Wish I'd have thought of that. Okay, so here we go. Um, I don't remember the names of all these, but I want to show you this one here, this CPK. On this paper, you can start to, well, I don't know if you'll see it or not, but I can see when it goes to pink and it gets a little coppery on the edges. Can I go this way and show you? Got that raccoon look to it. You're not seeing it right there. But there's, you can at least see the pink in there. There's the duochrome. I think that was a chroma shine green. I think that's the chroma shine teal, the TGR. Chroma shine BL. Remember what that was? Chroma Shine GR uh, GD, I think. This is the tan opal. 
I believe, by itself. Yeah, that's close to my rose gold, but it does have a, a shift to it. It goes more of a copper in there. Look at that one. Gene, that'll knock your socks off. Focus, focus, focus. And there's that last one I mixed up, right? Yeah. So here's those, the hosta perm with the tan opal. Oh, mama, look at that one. Eileen, this is for you. Wake up, Eileen. There's your sparkly flamingo pink. And this is the other one. One of them had the gold. Oh, come on, baby. They're really pretty. And this is... Uh, I think that's the manganese and the green. And this is the one that's the darker... The brighter hostaperm with the uh, sun gold in it. Come on. I know Cece wants to see this one. Cece want to see. There you go. Hello, lover. What's that? That looks like a silvery blue right there now. And that's the primary elements. And that's another primary ele element in there that's him with the manganese, I believe. So there you have it. All right, kids. Color me done. No pun intended. Um We'll let these dry up, and then I'm going to go look at Vicki Ross's video about how to store all this stuff. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back another day. we got to cook out. We're going to take the pups swimming tomorrow. Um, mad scientist, CC. We're going to take the pups swimming to a friend's uh, pool tomorrow for a cookout. Hopefully it won't rain or storm on us, and hopefully we can keep Babe out of the water most, well, not most of the day, but so she can walk when she gets home because last time Dave carried her up and down the steps for three days after she swam herself into oblivion. She just, she, you can't get her out of the pool. You had to get in with a leash and put it on her and try to get her out of the pool. Uh, anyway, and then Monday we have a family cookout over at one of my cousin's places. And, oh, my friend John got moved into um, a rehab. So, and another friend of ours had a baby. Oh, my goodness. She had a baby. So, all good stuff going on. We'll take it. Sorry, guys. Thanks for hanging. And um, we'll catch you again soon. Meanwhile, I'm going to go work on the Manny. Try to get it back to white on the tips. Yeah, Jane, for sure. And everybody that I owe something in the mail, I'm going to try to make that happen next week. Lord, help me. Thanks, mods. Even you, Gala. <laughs> Knucklehead. All right. See you guys. Bye.